and I've decided that I'm going to attempt to launch a tennis ball from my Mark I number three, the Enfield. Here's my collection of uh, older rifles and we have General Carbine, we have Italian Cacano, we have the French Eagle, whatever, we have Japanese, we have a, a Mauser, German Mauser, we have American Garand, a bit with a modern sight. Um, we have a Late War 4. Is it number 4? I don't know. I'm not an expert. This is. Should be on the wall, not a good one. Um, we have the Russian, also the Gat. Martini Heavy Zulu War. But this is the one we're looking for. Here it is. This is number one Mark III Lenfield, um, adapted for use as a grenade launcher, hence the windings on here, which are to stop them blowing up uh, as the uh, grenade takes a bit longer to leave the prep, leave the barrel that a bullet does, so the pressures are slightly greater. First of all, that's interesting. First thing I have to do is something you've probably never seen. I'm going to take the bolt out, and here, believe it or not, I have an insert for this rifle. There we are. Got that. A .22 barrel that goes inside the Enfield. Uh, but obviously, I can't fire that. Can't fire a grenade with the 2-2, so that's going to have to go. Well, note the special bolt which has an off center pin for firing the 22 caliber thing. Other than that, it's a standard bolt. And the awkward thing about it is it's got a little cutout for where the extractor goes, but there's nothing to stop it spinning, so you have to locate it pretty accurately in the barrel, get the bolt home before you do the nut open. It's the nut on the end of the barrel that holds it all together. Now one of the great things about living in the USA is that uh, my natural right to self-defense and to keep and bear arms is not infringed. Well it is, but not as much as it is everywhere else. Um, so I actually have two of these guys. Now this one is the gun that actually got me started on World War II rifles because when I bought it, it didn't have any of these windings on it. Um, and the guy said it was for a grenade launcher. I didn't believe him and I googled it and I thought I'm going to restore this. I made a really bad job of it, but nevertheless this is the gun I'm going to use uh, with the grenade cut. Here's the grenade cut. Now you note that it's got a little slot here which fits into the bayonet lug to make sure it locates properly in the barrel. And it's got this little thing here which is to presumably to set the range by letting out different amounts of uh, gas, which I shall start with that fully open to make sure I don't blow myself up. Okay, so first thing to put this on, you have to loosen this off, and that lets these little claws come out wide enough. And you simply stick it on the front like that, get it in position, and then you wind that on. And there we are, there it is the grenade launching cup on the end of the rifle. Thank you. I need nine of this, so here we go. Uh, ooh, 6.5... 9.08.0. Now, I've adapted this funnel that I happened to find in my wife's kitchen. Uh, no, actually, uh, I actually bought it, and it's too big. And I put a thing on it so it fits neatly over the top of the cartridge, and then I can put that in there. And all gone. Now I need 17 of this bad boy. 17.3, that's good enough. Uh, one done, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one done, nine to go. I discovered another thing that they recommend you do is that you protect the ball. So what I've done, I've cut up a, a coke can, actually it was Mountain Dew, there's the bottom of the can I cut off and I made a couple of little discs 
and I'll just show you how many how boring is this. It's like food pizza. Um, look, I can cut. I can cut a circle. Look, look, look. There we are. Anyway, all done. Right. Nice fresh balls, cheap ones. Warm up. Whoa. They're pressurised. And what's in them? Um, hopefully, I can recover them from the sea. I'll fly out and experiment now. I need to do opposite. So what I'll do, I'll do it dead centre on that bit there. Get a bit of duct tape. What else? Uh, put the duct tape, hold the patch in place. Gonna put another piece on just to be sure. And then I'm gonna get a Sharpie. Uh, and I'm gonna put a dot there. So when I load it, that'll be on the top and the protection will be on the bottom. This is one of sealing. I'm going to just use one of these things. I'm going to push that in there and all the way. And then pull it off again. And there we are. Nice wax plug. Well, here's the kind of view from the deck. So I don't think the neighbours are mind. This is America after all. And there's where we're going to fire it. And there is out there is our intended target. I don't know if we'll reach that. It looks too far. I think we might be able to land some in the water about there. We shall see. This is my friend Darrow, whose house we're going to be firing the grenades from, or the tennis balls. Um, are you looking forward to today? Well, of course I'm looking forward to today. I'm above ground. This is great. This is true, yes. Well, you have a great view. You really do have a great view. Uh, I think this has got to be the ideal location for doing this. Yeah, we should be able to hit the water. Yeah. And there is a man drinking his coffee while enjoying his guns with a t-shirt to prove it. Uh. First thing I'm going to do is put the grenade in the cup. I have a metal plate duct tape at the bottom, so I'm going to pop that in on the top and make sure that goes in even all the way to the bottom. Now, there we are. Nice you see that I'm going to shut the gas valve completely uh, because in my experiments there was not much pressure. Now what I'm going to do, safety first. Safety is the word around here. Indeed, death and chaos can come later. Um, right, I'm going to put these earmuffs on and I'm going to load one of the blank cartridges that I prepared earlier. I'm going to put it into reach foot, bolt and lean over there and fire. I was a bit emboldened by the fact that that wasn't much of a kick, so I'm going to load another ball. There's no kick in it here. No kick. Well, I've got a red dot on the top of this one to make sure it's nice and centered. Because uh, that last ball seemed to suffer a little bit. I mean, it, it went into the sea. Again, gas valve's fully shut. Okay. Hang a shoot from the shoulder. And here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh, yeah. Splash down! Five, four, three, two, one. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah, you just blew the metal off the back of it. Um, I would like to point out, as we're outside the town limits of Coopville, um, there is no restriction on firing guns on your own property. Well, I think um, a range over um, the sea of about, probably about 80 or 90 yards was achieved. Um, I don't believe you could get much farther uh, because the tennis ball, I think, is too affected by the wind. Uh, it's quite possible a real grenade would, in fact, go farther, but it would have much higher pressures initially than a tennis ball. Uh, and the idea of filling um, a tennis ball with gloves of Paris to make it heavier, I'm considering it. Um, we'll see. We'll see. Anyway, bye.